Hey guys, it's DRG Vine here today. I have some more Financial Freddy's custom action figures to show off. And this will be the last one focusing on the first series. And I won't do another one until Wave 2 or Series 2 comes out. But I will be doing some customs of the pop vinyl version, so keep an eye out on that. But this, step, this one will focus on FNAF World and some inspired ones. Okay, let's go down the line. The first two we have right here is Red Bear and White Rabbit from FNAF World, I should say. The action figure in the mystery mini versions. These are the enemies that you encounter in the game. And it's just a recolored version of Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. The next three we have right here. The, well, technically four because of this one. These are all inspired by something. This was inspired by the Joker, the Joker's Wild Batman, where Joker spray paints the bat suit in different colors, and you know, to make it look like the joke. Well, to know that the Joker did it, I, I named this one Mike Schmidt's Freddy Fazbear, along with the Mystery Mini version. Those two are obviously different. I'll get into that later. This one is just a Golden Spring Trap. This is a play on because I was at a. I was somewhere, I think, at a park, and I saw a buildable contraption, and it was all shiny and metallic, and that got got to me thinking, since kids like building things and shiny things, and I have an action figure that you can build, I just painted it gold. So that's how that was thought up. That's Golden Spring Trap. This one is just the like the Golden Freddy head, emoji head. I decided to make, get another one. Well, I just got a regular one and just painted it um, it's metallic silver, like a dark silver, as if it's second and the first one was in first place, if that makes any sense. And the last one is just a metallic golden Freddy. This was inspired by Funko San Diego Comic Con 2016 metallic golden Freddy. Or it could have been inspired by the golden Freddy emoji that I, reached, that I got. I'll probably link that in the description down below. But let's get into the first ones. Let's get into the FNAF World Enemies. Oops. Okay, let's look at Fredbear first. Fredbear, uh, Red Bear, I should say. He's basically just a red version of Shadow Freddy. However, when you fight him, he's in reverse. Like, this ear is fine, this one's cut off. But since that's just the reflection of the battle screen, I decided to make him look like this. He does have buttons just like with Shadow Freddy, but I didn't really add them on. The only difference is that, well, he's all red. And I'll get into the paints I use. He's basically the same color as Phantom Foxy. He's more of a burnt red, I should say. And uh, the stomach, the muzzle, and the ears, and the underfeet are basically... Oh, and the paws right there. They're basically just bright red. The mystery mini version is not different really, just the same thing except now he has buttons because that's how it was. And he's holding the microphone. But his microphone is more of a metallic red, or the rod's more like metallic red I should say. And White Rabbit is just, well, he's basically the opposite of Spring, uh, Shadow Bonnie. He's just all white with black eyes while Shadow Bonnie is all black with white eyes. So basically the same thing. Same goes for his collector clip. I had a spare one and I decided to make it out of this. And his guitar is a metallic white to go with the... Since he has a metallic... Well, since he is white, I decided to make a metallic white. Now this one, I just kind of did this out of nowhere. The first one was this one. Oh yeah, these two were the first ones, then I got these two accidentally. Well, not accidentally, I was just hesitating to get him because I couldn't find him and I was kind of getting other things but he was the first one I kind of did this out of nowhere I recently saw well this is like a few months ago I saw the Joker's Wild Batman and I loved how it looked and I thought to myself why don't I do a Freddy Fazbear one as if Mike Schmidt was trying to warn customers to you know get out of here or report to the, this to the police or something and that's why it's called Mike Schmidt's Freddy Fazbear as you can see, the eyes are bloody, so is the eyebrows, eyelids, the hat, blood is leaking down, the ears are bloody. It says leave right here. It says help, underlined, twice. 
Now his stomach it says alive, 12 a.m. Uh, the only thing that's not painted on the back, I didn't paint anything on the back because, well, most of the time you don't see an animatronic from the back. So that's probably why I left it like that. This one, I like this one better. He's missing an arm because, well, the, the sprint, the lock that holds it in place, it kind of chipped off so it wouldn't hold, so that's why I left it like that. But everything on him is very different. He kind of looks sad if you look closely. He looks kind of sad. Well, I see him looking sad. I don't know about you guys. But he looks totally different. As you can see, he has a bloodier mouth instead of me just slapping paint on there. I just painted him all white and then added the red. It says bleed. I tried to spell it out as good as I can, but it kind of got onto the most of the E. And help. I tried to underline it twice, but I ended on, under, underlined it once I put alive 12 a.m. every part of him bloody right here it says run I know you can't tell but it does say run and I'm kind of bummed out that he's missing his arm but let me let me get let me know everyone do you like that he's missing an arm or do I have to buy another one just for the arm I kind of think it's not worth it but you let me know how you feel about that do you like him without the arm or with an arm and here's his microphone, it's all bloody. Cause I try to picture it as if he's gripping it and when he let if he ever someone pulls it out of him, he'll it'll be that empty white space. And let's get these guys. These will be the last ones of wave one until wave two comes out, or series two as I say. This is just golden spring trap. You just take them apart like a buildable it's like a buildable attraction, kind of like Mango, but more shiny. That'll get kids' attention. And this one was not taken that seriously. I don't. I didn't take it that seriously. This is just the second place. Like if you, they were to give you a trophy, and this is what you get if you are Freddy Fazbear's, you get second place. I don't know why I chose Angry. It's just to go with the golden Freddy emoji I got. And this one is just inspired by San Diego Comic Con 2016's pop vinyl gold, metallic golden Freddy. I kind of like this one better, well don't get me wrong, that one's my favorite out of this set, but this is my second favorite because it stands out, the metallic paint really stands out. I was debating on should I paint the hat metallic black, but let me know, do you want me to paint it, Paint everything on him that's black, metallic black? Just let me know in the comments section down below, I'll be more than happy to read it. And honestly, I'm going to go get all the other customs that I did, just to make sure it feels right, that way you get a good look at all of them. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to mention the paints that I used. I used the metallic paint, uh, pearl white for the guitar. I used the metallic paint gun metal gray for this one. I didn't have regular gray for this. This is the only gray I had at the time. That's why I didn't use this kind of shinier, like a dull black gray. I used pure metallic gold for the golden animatronics right here. And of course I used white for Mike Schmidt's Freddy Fazbear and the White Rabbit. I used flag red for the, the muzzle, stomach, and ear. Yeah, the muzzle, stomach, and ear for Red Bear. And also every, the part as it, oh by the way, that's not blood, that's just paint. Just to get, you know, let you guys know it's not blood, it's just paint. Of course not theor theoretically, but if it was in the game, it would be contributed as blood. But honestly, it will be paint. And I use metallic bright red for the... Only for the gold, the rod of the microphone. I use black for, well, just one thing. The eyes of White Rabbit. Like I said before, I use burnt red. Like, if you go back and see my Phantom Animatronic custom action figures. That's the same for Phantom Foxy. That's the same color I use for all of this. For all the fur on Red Bear. But let me go get all the other custom animatronics right now. And here they are, guys. From Fred Bear's Family Diner to, well, inspired ones. And this is every single one, along with the, the microphones and the guitars. Every action figure, every keychain, every mystery mini, every collector clip, every Mimoji, and so on and so forth. And by the way guys, I want to thank you because we have w totally way past 100 subscribers. I was just shocked. 
I was gonna make a video saying congrats to all of you because I want to thank you so much because I went past 100 subscribers. It was at 101 I was gonna make a video, but I didn't have Mike Smith's Freddy Fazbear, White Rabbit, Red Bear, or this spring trap done. I only had this one done, so I kind of had to get them all in, you know, in a week because that's why you haven't seen any videos recently, unless it's the pop vinyl one that I recently released. But really, we, this is supposed to be a 100 plus subscribers thank you video, but I'm way past that. I'm almost at 200. I want to thank you guys so much, and I hope you look forward to what I have to bring in the near future. Not just the customs, pop vinyl, uh, pop vinyls, action figures, whatever I make, but everything in general that I have to show off. I hope you stick around because it really means a, it really means the world the world to me. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot, but I, I'm just in complete shock. But anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. There will be more in the future. Don't worry. And oh, by the way, the Official name for the cupcake is Jacko Cupcake. That's the official name. Someone even commented saying pumpkin cake. <laughs> That's cute. Very, very cute. But no. Its official name is the Jacko Cupcake. But anyway, guys. Oh, and I also have um, another animatronic. That foxy right there. That's green. That's the one that's... That's the only one that's not going to get an action figure because I kind of didn't like it. And this one is new right here. The Phantom Chica keychain. But enough of that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye.